Hi, this is Tom from Tool and this is another tip of today. And I want to talk about uh, times, not time clips, but actually setting the time. Um, so this is uh, maybe if you didn't watch the last part or the last tip of today, you should do so. Um, it will give you a little bit of introduction. But um, so let's talk more about time and what it is. So uh, let's switch off like this guy here. So we actually have the perfect time here. And then I already keep mentioning that the time is in bars and we have this output window here that renders this animation and uh, this animation will use like the current time to be driven. So right now it's using the time 16 to render a frame at this position. So now what we can do is actually override this time. So we can do this by using commands. So we have to First, use this texture 2D and render it as a layer 2D or as a screen spot, doesn't matter. And then we can use an operator called set command time. And if we pin this here, we will see that now the image is black because we are rendering the animation at zero. And now if we scrub this here, we can actually scrub through our animation. Um, so this thing here will use actually the original time we requested, which means we can do all kind of black magic. Um, we could, for instance, use the original time, take uh, this into like a sine wave or so. Maybe we uh, offset this a little bit and maybe we increase the amplitude. So um, I think this would now give us like a wave between like roughly zero and 20. And if we pipe this into the time and now press play, then we see how um, like we scrub the time forward and backward. So um, you keep wondering, see, why, why would anybody want to do this? But um, it can be super powerful because suddenly you can, for instance, have things like uh, Let's say you want to have like a VJ show and you want to have like different animation parts triggered by uh, an audio reaction. So uh, you could actually then just do maybe animate value. Maybe use like a random here and then we pipe this into the new time. And uh, maybe right now, okay, once again, so of course we can just use a remap here and say uh, we remap this to a region somewhere in other animation. And uh, okay, a little bit too long in seconds. Um, and um, of course we could uh, then use this to be uh, driven by, uh, I don't know, like a beat detection or something. So um, and then of course we can tempt this again. So um, don't go too crazy with this. So uh, you will quickly learn that if you now try to for instance, animate like this value, it will be like super, super confusing. Um, so that's why I, be very, I would be very careful with like mixing keyframe animation with like this uh, set time magic. But yeah, as I said, it's... Uh, like every powerful weapon, uh, the more powerful the weapon, the more easy it is to shop off your hand. So we want. Uh, if you want to know more, drop me a comment. Um, yeah. And if you have more questions, uh, let's discuss it on Discord. See you tomorrow. Bye.